by our exact cast. And it's been a rocky day, a loud day, a wet day. It really has mm -hmm. been. We've had very heavy rain. A lot of it diminished. Now it's firing up again. The strongest storm is near Destrehan. So let's look at what's happening. High pressure in the Gulf, that onshore flow. We had a whole lot of heating this morning because we had lots of sunshine and a sea breeze developed. Well, that sea breeze moved off to the north, and now do you see what's happening? More rain and storms are developing. So let's zoom in. This is the strongest storm right now. It's very close to Donaldsonville. It is moving generally to the east. We're going to watch it carefully because, of course, Metro New Orleans to the east as well. I want you to notice, too, how we've had more development to the south. So this is by Thibodeau. We can look at the storm, and we've got almost 300 lightning strikes in just 15 minutes. This was the very strong storm earlier that was over Lake Maurepas. It's now pushing into the lake. We've got heavy rain to moderate rain at times right over the causeway. If you've got to drive the causeway, keep that in mind that you've got some moderate rain that's now moving your way. Then to the north shore, light to moderate rain at this time. The good news is not seeing lightning there, but wait, look at this. We've got some pretty heavy rain right now. It's just south of Slidell. Lightning with this one, it's over the Slidell twin span, so be careful there. And notice that icon right at the lakefront, 44 mile per hour winds earlier today when we had that line of rain and thunderstorms move through. So we can look at the rainfall totals and some of us got plenty, especially right along I-10. Other areas not so much and that's where it was really hotter. We can look at the rainfall totals, Audubon at three quarters of an inch at the airport four tenths, but look, Hammond is now up to about two thirds of an inch of rain. Forecast model shows high pressure in the Gulf. We've got this on Onshore flow. I do not see as much rain tomorrow. We're going to have more heat. High temperatures in the low to the mid 90s. Now, when you get heat like that, you can get an isolated strong storm. Then we're looking at Friday, and the truth is, not seeing a lot of rain then either. That means plenty hot. When you have less rain, you have more heat. High temperatures in the low to the mid 90s. Then, as you go into the 4th of July, Rain chances will go up a bit more. I've got it at a 30 to 40 percent chance. It's still going to be hot. You're still going to be able to get out and enjoy the weather. Just keep an eye to the sky. And when you see that lightning or hear the thunder, the only safe place is inside. This is a great twit pick. It's from Colin Landry right there by Ponchatoula. That was a shelf cloud that was moving through. And then I've got to tell you, Chantel said, Gosh, were those winds strong. This is a pecan tree, and it knocked down some of the limbs there. You can still see Venus and Jupiter close tonight. Shemich sent this in. Here's the deal, though. We're going to be watching the clouds again. It's only visible for a couple of hours after sunset, and the sun sets at 8.06. I hope we get lucky. The high today, 90. The average is 91. It was a hot day, and it was the heat that triggered a lot of the rain and storms. Up, ah, the temperature has dropped again because more rain is moving into the metro area. So going out this evening, I'd keep the umbrella handy. Right now, a north wind at about 8. About the area, look at how these temperatures have dropped. It is all because of the rain that's occurred. Winds are variable, but earlier today, 32-mile-per-hour wind, even a 44-mile-per-hour wind. Morning low temperature. Temperatures in the low to the mid 70s. High temperatures tomorrow are going to be in the low to the mid 90s. It is going to be a hot day, so be aware of it. You're going to need to take some breaks from the heat. Three in the afternoon, about 91 degrees. Friday, another really hot day. Some areas are going to be in the mid 90s. That heat index is going to be close to 105. Then for the 4th of July, I've got a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain. Highs in the low 90s. Same forecast for Sunday, but the next week, rain chances go down again. Temperatures go up. All right, Margaret.